So one of the next things we want to do is we want to add some ISO images that we'll be able to use to install our operating systems from. And with SCVMM, we can build virtual machines that are just from scratch or we can build them off of profiles and templates. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's start by adding in some uh, ISO files. So here's how we're going to do this. I've already added one, but I want to show you how to do it. So we're going to go to the library. And in the library, we're going to expand library servers and then our current library and then our MS uh, SCVMM library. And here you'll see the ISO file that I've already attached. Now, the way we would attach another one is we would go to import physical resource. And I want to add a resource. And I've actually shared some ISO files from another one of my servers. So let's say that I didn't. I was doing it off of a uh, my local C drive or my um, DVD drive or something like that. This is how I would browse to it and find it. But in this case, I have it off of a virtual machine. So I'm going to try to browse that virtual machine. And we're going to find the virtual machine. We're going to find ISO. And then we're going to find the one we want. And I want to take this one right here, Windows Server Standard Edition. And I'm going to click Open. And that's going to give me this location. This is a file I want. And I could do more than one of them at a time here. But this is where it's coming from, my physical resource. And then I'm going to set the library server and destination where I want it to go. So I'm going to browse. And I'm going to just find my local library server. And I'm going to click my... Uh, VMM library there and hit OK and import. And this will start an import process and you'll see it working along right here. Now, once it completes, this is going to take it a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. It's moving fairly quickly. Once it completes, it should pop up here. And once it pops up here, then we'll be able to use that when we create a virtual machine. So, and by the way, it doesn't always pop up right away. Sometimes I've got to go away and navigate back to it or refresh in order for that to show up. So rather than waiting for the other 80%, we'll pick it up here when we go to create a virtual machine after importing this ISO file. 